Microsoft has released the August 2022 update for the Surface Duo and the Surface Duo 2. Now, if you've seen some of my YouTube shorts and you've seen the intro to this video, you know that the channel now has a Surface Duo 2. I asked a bunch of you on YouTube, you know, what did you want to see from this channel? Did you want to see more Surface Duo original content or would you want to see some Surface Duo 2 content? And the results were overwhelmingly split down the middle. So I went on eBay and for $265, I found a Surface Duo 2. Now, this is not in perfect shape by any means. You can see that there is a skin on the back, which is covering large cracks along the back glass. If anybody has any resources on how to get new back glass, let me know, because I would love to do a video on replacing the glass. So now the channel has both versions of the Surface Duo. Starting with the original Surface Duo, Microsoft has released a new update, which brings it to 2022-519 dot 29. This is a very small update, supposedly. I don't know. Mine hasn't gotten it for some reason. But it addresses security bulletin outlines and improves device stability. All my OG Duo fans, have you guys gotten your update yet? And if so, has it done anything major to improve stability on the device? Please leave comments down below because, like I said, mine hasn't gotten the update yet, so I have no idea. Now, onto the Surface Duo 2 which brings its update to 2022.519.47. This update was also a very small patch that improves stability, addresses security bulletin outlines, and improves video quality during calls. Now, oddly enough, I don't really use my Surface Duo for calls, especially video calls. I do carry it around constantly as it is my secondary device. I use it like a tablet, so I would also like my Surface Duo 2 folks out there, if you've got information on whether or not this patch did anything to improve stability, let me know. Now, I want to compare my experience with the Duo and the Duo 2. I love my Duo. I love it, love it, love it. I've had this phone. I've actually had four or five of these phones. Um, I've sent them off for various warranty issues. And... I've had some issues with the screens flipping back and forth and shutting off the wrong screen. So I thought with, you know, a couple weeks left in my warranty, why not get a replacement? Well, I did get a replacement and the replacement wasn't any better than the last phone. So this is it. I'm holding on to this. It's out of warranty. Still got the box and everything and I still use it. I still use it to watch content and I use it to keep track of stuff at work. Now, the Surface Duo 2, like I said, was used. I paid $265 for this Surface Duo 2. The person I purchased it from on eBay said that the device was cracked, and it was cracked. There are cracks all down the back of this. I have a very inexpensive skin on the back and the front to keep the rest of it from falling apart. The device works flawlessly as far as the screens go. Um, I don't have any issue flipping the screens back and forth. The device seems to work really well. I did put a screen protector on here, and I have an issue with it opening up. It's very hard to open this device up with a screen protector on. It seems like the screens just stick together after a while. If you have any experience with this, please also let me know in the comments down below if there's anything I can do to fix that. But other than that, this device has worked 100% flawlessly, which is not bad for a phone that has no warranty on it because it's physically damaged. So I think I'll be keeping them both for quite some time. You might have also heard that Google has released Android 13 for their Pixel devices. Now that can only mean one thing, that Android 13 is going to start proliferating across the Android market, which means finally that our duos are going to get Android 12 L. I'm really looking forward to this a lot for the Surface Duo OG. I am really hoping that Android 12L addresses a lot of the issues that the first Duo had with its screens and spanning and 
all the little issues that people had with this phone because it's a really good form factor and I really want Microsoft to continue this surface line of products. That's really all I had for tonight, guys. I just wanted to pop out here and say thank you for watching. The channel is inching its way up to a thousand subscribers and I can't be happier. It's so much fun to see that you guys are interested in what I have to say. I enjoy making these videos a whole lot because I get to learn so much about video editing and recording and I also get to talk to you guys. That's one of my favorite things about this is seeing your responses to my videos, knowing you guys are watching, knowing you guys are paying attention and knowing you're interested. If you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. My name is Bryant. This is Reviews for Nerds. Have a great day.